All right, so here I have two badges with me. I got the hitbox badge and the attack badge. And as you know, the pumpkin axe has this little cooldown on it where when you swipe it, you gotta wait a little bit to attack again with it. You can also do an aerial attack with melee weapons like this if you press the space bar or if you're on mobile, the jump button and then click again to do an aerial attack. That's what I call it, at least. Now, as you can see, the hitbox badge is showing that the aerial attack generates a lot of hitboxes. It doesn't stop generating them. So what you can do is this. Spam the spacebar. And all those hitboxes that's generating count as something that deals damage. But, another thing... The aerial attack for the pumpkin axe doesn't cause the cooldown to happen. As you can see. Now, another thing to keep in mind is that if you do it really quickly, it still counts as you're on the ground. So you gotta wait a second and then do the aerial attack. So what this means is... Let's go in the hollow. What this means is that you can... Stay suspended in the air as long as you can, and I prefer to do this with a jetpack. This works with wings, but I personally prefer a jetpack without ultra boots as well because ultra boots cause higher vertical acceleration. You can do this. I did not mean to get a rare drop. Uh, let's 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 find a good group of enemies to attack at the same time. You can do stuff like that. But, uh, the hit, the attack badge, we don't really need it, since we can just do this. Easy. And as you can see, I'm not clicking at all, because the aerial attack keeps generating hitboxes. And I don't need to click. Now you can also land back on the ground and then click real quick again to do another aerial attack. This is what I call chain aerials. It's basically just stay suspended in the air for as long as you can and chain down the enemy with whatever weapon you're using. And since the pumpkin axe doesn't have a cooldown when you attack with it, with an aerial attack in particular, it does a lot of damage and mows down pretty much every single enemy very quickly which includes the pumpkin. And it's actually quite very easy to defeat the pumpkin without using the bell because of this, but this also means that you don't really need an attack badge. Uh, I mean, you it's not like the worst badge ever, don't get me wrong, but if you can just say, stay suspended right next to an enemy and hit them with the axe like this, oh, let me find them, like this, I have the attack badge on, so that runs it. And on. Oh gosh. Like this. Then you don't really need the attack badge, because it's only like a few milliseconds slower. So yeah, there's not really any reason to use the attack badge in this game. There's also not really a reason to use the hitbox badge, because you can just... Where did the badge go? You can just memorize... Uh, the hitbox of the axe, like, without the hitbox badge, so let's take off the hitbox badge, because I have memorized it. And as you can see, I'm doing just fine. So, let's get to the pumpkin, and we're going to fight the pumpkin with both of these badges that I've brought off. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cut ahead to the pumpkin. Okay, we're here at the pumpkin fight, so let's unequip the hitbox badge and the attack badge. We're gonna leave them right there. And we're gonna go fight the pumpkin and not use the bell. Now, to, to do this without like getting hit too much, you have to 
actually knock back the pumpkin with your hit. So like this, and then back up. And he's dead. Easy. Simple like that. Not hard at all. So that's why the attack badge in this game is really not that useful. Uh, you can do this with any weapon that is a melee weapon. It also makes pretty much every other weapon in the game pointless to use. The only weapon you really need is the pumpkin axe, so yeah. Uh, hopefully this helps you with farming, because you can do some pretty quick stuff with this method. <laughs> 